Soccer fans, Mark Rogandino here with you for this week's View from the Booth. We're talking the LA Galaxy making the trip out to Columbus, Ohio to take on the Columbus crew. And just like the recent Southern California weather, the Galaxy in one word are hot. Unbelievable performance against Chivas USA. The 4-0 win for the Galaxy against their stadium rivals. Two goals from Janino, Landon Donovan setting a career high with four assists in the match. Certainly all overall, it was a great performance. The defense was very strong. Not too many big saves for Josh Saunders to come up with. So overall, a great performance for LA. Now, how do they take that and take on the Columbus crew? Well, that's a good question. I think they'll head out to Columbus with a lot of momentum, a lot of confidence as well. But then you talk about a Columbus crew team that's gonna be coming in as a little bit of an X factor in a sense that obviously if you haven't heard the news, Kirk Urso, one of their young players passed away suddenly about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. So this is a team that's going to play with a lot of emotions in this matchup. They're going to play with a very heavy heart and understandably so. You wonder how they'll be able to come out and perform those. The question, do they take those emotions and translate them into good play on the field at Columbus Crew Stadium? Or is it a situation where it's just too big of a situation to kind of put all the pieces together and come out and play good soccer? Certainly that'll be one of the questions we'll be looking to have answered. Uh, this is a Columbus Crew team that is very, very scrappy under Bobby Vorziha. They don't have a ton of players that overwhelm you. I mean, they have some of the names that you've heard from the past, young players like Justin Miram, uh, Dilly Duca in there. But some of the older names, a guy like Eddie Gavin or Renteria up top that have been the playmakers and really getting the job done as far as putting the ball in the back of the net. Uh, Chad Marshall, still a very big piece at the back as far as defending. They slipped a young kid, Williams, out wide to help out defensively. And then your normal goalkeeper, Will Hesmer, he's been down all season with a hip injury. It's been Andy Green bomb that has been in goal for most of the season really for the Columbus crew and a team that's sitting in the middle of the Eastern Conference table right now so kind of a make or break situation for them right now in regards to can they get something going I think right now they're sitting seventh in the Eastern Conference table uh, a couple of spots out of a playoff spot so if they're gonna get something going they're gonna need to start it right now and typically against the LA Galaxy the Columbus crew have always played very well at home there at Columbus Crew Stadium let's bring the focus back to your LA Galaxy and talk about their trip out there to Columbus, Ohio. I expect LA to play very well. We'll see if maybe David Beckham is able to make it back from London to be a piece of the starting 11. Uh, even if he's not though, I think you would have to agree against Chivas USA, this team showed that they're very, very capable of playing without one of their big three DPs in David Beckham. Uh, the connection between Robbie Keane and Landon Donovan continues to just be incredible. The chemistry gets better and better. I love the way those two can play the ball in short, tight spaces with quick one-touch passing, and it seems to give defense is a handful of problems in the midfield. Uh, the combination between Marcelo Sarvas and Juninho for me has just been one of the best parts of LA's growing process over the last couple of months. Uh, the two players playing next to each other pick a great time to go forward, great time to sit back and help defend, and then facilitating the ball to get out wide for Hector Jimenez or Mike McGee on the left has been a, a great thing from both Brazilian players. Finally, at the back defensively, uh, Omar Gonzalez. I think again you saw him take another step in his return to becoming the player that he was in 2011, 2010, 2009 when he came into the league. Uh, we didn't see David Lopez in the starting 11 last night against Chivas USA, but uh, I thought that AJ De La Garza did a very good job partnering with Omar Gonzalez. And then you had Sean Franklin out on the right and the return of the veteran uh, Todd Dunneman on the left. So all in all, I think this is a game that LA should be able to go into Columbus Crew Stadium. They should be able to come away with a win. If they're the type of team that they think they are or say they are at this point in the season, where Bruce Arena wants them to be at this point in the season, heading into the final 10 games, or so to solidify that playoff spot, you have to be able to go there against an Eastern Conference side like the Columbus crew that is struggling just a little bit, and you should be able to come away with three points. That's this week's View from the Booth. I'm Mark Rogandino. We'll see you real soon.